and your mistresses. <laughs> your lordships, your warships, your fish and chips. <laughs> My noble lords, I rock. to my feet on this suspicious occasion <laughs> and having risen to my feet I... <coughs> Bill, Bill, you all right? Yeah, I'm just doing some press-ups, that's all uh, Oh yeah, and look you dropped your cornet <laughs> Cornet? No, Sally that's a coronet Eh? Uh, you don't half look smart, Bill Do you reckon? Yeah, but why is your get-up all trimmed with vermin like that? Vermin? Sally, this is ermine. Well, those look like vermin. Yeah, they do and all, don't they? Here. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Right there. So, Bill, what's this book then? That is the history of the Airfords, that is. Aye, put that down. That's my family tree. <laughs> It's got pictures of all my ancestors from 1066, that does. No, I learnt all that when I was at school. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, then, you know who invaded Britain in 1066? Of course. The Romans. <laughs> no, Sally. The Romans come over in BBC. <laughs> I'm talking about 1066 ID. Anno Dominoes? Dominoes. You know, the Battle of Hastings, when Harold, on his horse, with his ock in his hand, got hit in the high with a harrow. <laughs> I remember now. Yeah, he put an apple on his head and he said, Shoot, Father, I am not afraid. No, Sally, now you're thinking of George Washington and the cherry tree. No, I'm not. Yeah. No, George Washington sat under a cherry tree and discovered gravity. <laughs> oh, girl, what are you talking about? Now, let's sort this out once and for all. See, we really started with King John. Oh. Now, that geezer there is Simon de Hereford. Uh -huh. He thought... <laughs> he forced the king to sign the Magna Carta in 1215. And to... <laughs> and so founded a strong English constitution, see? Right. Then he married the king's cousin and had 14 sons. Eh? Blimey, he must have had a strong constitution. Yeah. Sally, you see that bloke there? Yeah. That is Richard Airford, mm -hmm. otherwise known as Tricky Dicky. <laughs> he fought... <laughs> he fought against Joan of Arc, he did. Joan of Arc? Oh, uh, yeah. Get a why. Your ancestors don't go back that far. Now, what you talking about? She come after King John. You're getting your history all muddled. No, I'm not. Yes, you are, No, dear. no, Bill. <laughs> Bill, listen here. Listen, everyone knows that Joan of Arc was married to Noah. <laughs> Not that Arc. I'm talking about the French. Yeah. Urk. Joan of Urk. <laughs> you nerk. She was a beautiful. Oh, Bill. She <laughs> was a beautiful <laughs> lady. Who rode against the English with nothing but her courage, eh? Uh, right? Oh, oh, I remember. 
She rode a lily-white horse through the streets of Covent Garden. No, Sally. That was Florence Nightingale. Oh, that one. That is Jonathan Efford, the mad sea dog. Sea dog? Yeah. Explorer. He discovered Milpitas. <laughs> hey, Sally. Do you realise that Jonathan actually saw Sir Walter Raleigh spread out his cloak? No, oh, spread out his cloak. Yeah. Uh, whatever for? Well, Sally, don't you remember who passed over? Oh, yeah, the Israelites. <laughs> Here. You are pretending to be more ignorant than what you actually are, ain't you? What would I do that for? To put me off. Like you tried last night at that party. Uh, well, I'll tell you this, my girl, it ain't working. Nope, I'm gonna do this speech, and you and I are going to get married. Goodbye. Oh, now don't start all that again. Oh, can't you see why the Duchess has stuffed all these ancestors into your nut? Why? She's making a gentleman of your bill. Ah, she can't make a sow's purse out of a silk ear. Oh, uh, can't she? She's already got you talking like the BBC. Oh, come on. Yeah, and walking like Douglas Fairbanks. Now don't be so belly daft. Can't even swear or posh. Bill, you gotta marry someone with good blood. Well, you're not anemic. <laughs> but it's not blue, though. That's it. Goodbye, Bill. Here. Yeah. What's going on? Oh. Please, Sally, don't cry. Eh? I'm not. Well, don't dribble down me vermin, then. <laughs> I'll clobber you with my ancestors. It's no good, Bill. All right, that does it. I'm not standing here watching you cry, and I'm not having this. I'm going to sort it out with her once and for all. You'll never stand up to her. <laughs> oh, won't I? Well, you just watch me. <laughs> Put that down. I just did. Now, I'm ready for her. Once you lose your heart, once somebody takes it from the place it rested in for. Once you lose your heart, once somebody wipes it, and it isn't your heart anymore. It's gone. Somebody takes it as 
It's absurd. You know it's absurd. No, bless you, please. Sally does not arise. She simply does not arise. Presently, I shall force Sir John and the other trustee to agree, God help me, that you are a suitable person to stay on here as an house of the Next, next I shall marry you to Jacqueline. No! No! Love you, but she wants your title and money. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> love, love is for the middle classes. <laughs> middle classes. What about the king? The king married for love. Middle class. Middle class foreigners. The whole family. <laughs> oh, if only I could say something. If I could find words to speak. Oh, no, there you lie. Chatter, chatter, chatter. Argue, argue, argue. I can't get a word in edgeway. Oh, no! Get him off me! Get him off me! Get you. 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 <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Nobody cares for me. Wackadoo! 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 <laughs> William! Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, William. <laughs> William, read that motto. Nobles obligee. No bless oblige. No bless oblige. <laughs> Do you know what that means? No, nope, and we don't want to. Nobility has its obligation. Here, did you see that? That was... Ah! <laughs> that was Simon de Hereford. There's a price to pay for land and title. <laughs> All right. Down, calm down. What is occurring? That was Thomas Hereford. He burnt 400 people in one day. 600 at your service. Oh my God. Riches carry responsibility. Party. No, 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 The story of Hereford handed down Since William the Norman wore the crown The story of Hereford through the ages Tells of honour and glory on all its pages Noblesse oblige, noblesse oblige Hereford blood be 
let it go on that way. 